Alrighty, gang, it is 7.30 in the morning. I am getting ready and um, to head to uh, see Mr. Shane over in Cocoa Beach and hopefully get together with Mr. Pat and Miss Kimberly also, the four of us. All my gear is packed for beach and land. Loading it into the bends now. Good morning, Minardo Maniacs. It is uh, Minardo Rob here in the new Minardo Mobile, Marvin. And uh, just pulling out of Denise's driveway. Heading over to the east coast of Florida to see Shane, the blind treasure hunter, Park Rad Pat, and Miss Kimberly Creamer, the Sunshine State Detector. It's going to be a cross state metal detecting trip. You too, Rob's favorite band. Alrighty, Cocoa Beach, boom. And there is the Disney ship that Denise and I have been on dozens of times. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, guys, there's the beach straight ahead. Yeah, guys, you can tell it's 100 degrees outside. There we go. Well, gang, I have found a spot right here on a city side road right next to the beach. We just got this little bridge, this little walkway, and we will be on the beach. So, never been here before in my life, guys. Wow, that's a pretty incredible looking pier. We got an active volleyball court going. Look at how mob this beach is. This is just absolutely gorgeous, guys. All right, guys, first signal, first dig, first coin. We got ourselves a dime way up here in the dry sand. Gonna be a all right, good guys. Day. I've got. I'm gonna do from the water line here to that first little breaking wave. I'm gonna go all the way down here. I guess the tide comes all the way up here, so I'm gonna say this is a fairly low tide. This is only the third time I've hunted on the East Coast. This is a pretty gentle day for the East Coast. I've seen stuff in the golf this bad. Um, absolutely gorgeous pier. So, um, so we're good to go. And um, oh, that water felt guys, good, guys. There's the pier way down there. I walked all that way down here at this water line without a signal that was diggable until right here where you see I got a little bit of disturbance. I got a beautiful low tone 8.9 and got, I got a green pool tab. That was it guys, on 8 9, I thought for sure that was going to be a piece of jewelry. Well guys, I've been on this beach an hour and a half, maybe close to two hours. I've got the one dime. That's it. We're right, we walked all the way back here to the pier. Uh, looks like an awesome pier. I am going to go under it and go to the... Uh, yeah, that worked out well. I am going to go to the north side of the pier. They only have one lifeguard here. He's right up there. And then they have a sign over there that says, you're leaving the lifeguard area. So they've got one lifeguard on this whole stretch of beach and that's it. So when you get past that sign up there, you're not protected by the lifeguard anymore. So that's why everybody's swimming. Nice throw in this area right here. This will be the place to look for rings. Hey right, guys, I was out there in waist deep water. I put my phone inside this uh, baggie to try and keep it dry. And uh, yeah, the waves are just beating me up too much. I, you can't detect in that. So guys, I came back up here to the water line. I'm gonna probably go another maybe 50 yards, 100 yards, and I'm going to turn around and call it a day, but I finally got a 20 signal for a zinc, let me, yeah, I didn't want to get the machine wet, okay, there's a 20, 21, we're going to dig that. A lot of work on this beach, folks, for a penny. All right, we'll see if that's got it. Tide's coming in. Yeah, guys, I can honestly say I miss Clearwater Beach. Oh. All right. Yay, we got it out with the first scoop. There it is, nice new shiny zinc, came right out of the clod. Wow, so that's our third coin today, a diamond, two zincs. Woo! Let's show you the beach. Oh, we got a storm cloud moving in. All right. So you're leaving behind the lifeguard protected area. All right. All the action's under the pier, guys, but the machine gets too much EMI there. All righty, guys. 
see I've got a six, seven inch hole dug there in the machine said. I had a 10 inch zinc, it barely read it. Wouldn't pinpoint it. But it's out after about seven inches. And it's still giving me a zinc penny signal. Yes, when, you, when the day's that slow that you will dig 10 inch zinc pennies. Yep. All right, there's our third zinc penny of the day. A really, really deep one. Uh, somebody told me the beaches over here are all uh, sanded in, and uh, I believe that. All right. At least it's been a really nice day. The storm looks like it's going around us. There we go. People are in the water. And finally, guys, on a 29 signal, I get a beautiful state quarter. After three hours of hunting Cocoa Beach, I get a nice 29 signal, and that's a ball full nice too. There we go. So my fifth coin of the day is a quarter. All right, we'll start working our way to the other side of the pier and then back up to the car, and then heading to Kimberly's. All right. All right, guys, I'm off the beach. I've used my water in my car to clean all my equipment as good as I can. And uh, I'm heading to Kimberly's house, get cleaned up, meeting Pat and his wife for dinner. Sounds good. The next day. Hey guys, there is Miss Kimberly. There is Mr. Pat. I guess Mr. Shane is around the corner. Kimberly has found us a section to do some curb strips. They got here earlier than me. Kimberly already has three silvers, guys. This is like hunting with Troy and Dalton. Um, and then I think she said either Pat or Shane has a silver too. Any Wheaties? Oh my God, five Wheaties already. Uh, we are in an old neighborhood uh, outside the historic district of uh, Cocoa Beach. So I'm going to get geared up, guys. And uh, this looks like it could be a, a target-rich curb strip area. All right. And my first signal, guys, underneath that root right there is a clad quarter. It took me a while to figure out what it was. It's bouncing between the 27 and 29. I was hoping for a silver dime. But we will start the day off with a clad quarter. Uh, in four hours, I only got one of them yesterday on the beach. So... I will take that as a first signal. And right next to the first quarter, about eight inches from it, I get me a second one. It's a 1981. Uh, alrighty, guys, we're going to see if we can get on some older stuff. Alrighty, guys, I've jumped from uh, that side of the street where the car is parked. I got uh, like five, six clad, two quarters, two dimes, three pennies. Jumped over here to the side of the street that Pat and Kimberly have been doing, guys. First signal over here, bouncy low 20s to mid 20s. And it's just a 56D, guys, chocolate brown, but it is a nice looking weedy. I am on the board. My, my goal this trip was a minimum of one weedy. All right, we all have to catch Kimberly. She's got three silvers and five weedies, and that was half an hour ago. So let's get going. All right, guys, on the Knox, I just got a 16 signal and nice big thick tire weight. That'll go into the lead bucket. All right, guys, there's Mr. Shane. Say hi. There he is. <laughs> Um, guys, he found this one pound coin today. I mean, it's not old, but you can see it's one of the, uh, oh, it's got the beautiful crown of the queen on the front there. And I was explaining to him how it's two metals, and um, that's how the magnet fishers over in England and Great Britain and Scotland can find coins with their magnets because they're two separate metals. It's a very thick coin, and it's not circular, guys. It's actually, it's actually 18-sided. That is just way cool. Congratulations, Shane. Thanks, buddy. Alrighty guys, there is Pat with his back to you. There is Shane swinging at you. Kimberly's behind that one lone tree there. There's Kimberly's truck and there is Marvin the Mercedes. And we are at this old two-story school probably from the late 50s. Uh, we left that neighborhood. Uh, a lot of the lawns were really nice so we didn't want to mess with them even on the curb strip. So we're going to see if we can find anything. Uh, we've all got a whole bunch of clad already. I've got over a dollar in clad already. But we're going to see if we can get on another weedy or silver here. All right. And guys, 22, 23 signals, 23, 24 are coming in dimes, which is low for dimes, but a 22, 23, and not only is this a weedy, I thought originally it was a mower modified weedy, and it still might be, but it also looks like on the back of Lincoln's head it's been melted, and guys, this is so worn I can't see it, but I think it's a 20 something, so if that's going to be an early 20s, I could have a 100 year old coin out of a school commons area, all right, but weedy number two for the day, boom. Hey guys, that's where that weedy came out that's uh, burnt or cut or whatever. Next signal, guys, 23, 24. I thought for sure it was going to be a memorial, but guys, look, it is stuck in this clay coin ball. But I was able to scrape off the front, 
and I believe that says a 57D. I'll get you a close-up of that, but that is still stuck in the coin ball. Weedy number two, back to back. All right, we're going to stay at this school a few minutes. Kimberly has found us a 20s neighborhood with curb strips, so we're going to head there next. All right, guys, here is Kimberly. There is Shane bending down. There is Pat with a back to us. Pat just found a Space Shuttle Columbia pin. That is just way flipping cool. We are here in Cocoa Beach, and Kimberly's picking up my item right now. It was a very, very deep penny signal. It's a cap for one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I should have said that. And guys, I got me a Schrader valve stem cap. Model A, Model T. All right, there's my first relic of the week. I'm sure somewhere on there that says Schrader. We'll clean that up. That is a nice, nice shape. There's the threads on the inside. Oh, yeah, guys. I am super happy with that relic. Boom. Relic in Cocoa Beach. Alrighty guys, we have knocked it off for the day because it is just too fungu hot. As you can see by the dashboard there, that says 102 outside. My uh, my car thermometer runs a little hot, about 3-4 degrees, so that's probably 97-98. But anyway guys, with the heat index, it's about 105 today. So all four of us were dying. We're making this curb strip our last day, or our last uh, hunt. And I'm setting the uh, GPS on the phone for Denise's house. And I'll probably still make it home enough in the afternoon that I can just jump right in the pool today. I think Shane's going to go right in his uh, rental house pool. And uh, and then Kimberly and Pat will drive back to uh, Sebastian here from Coco, which is about an hour drive. So it's it's Minardo in the Minardo Mobile, Mobile uh, Marvin, the Mercedes, with Pat and his wife getting me... Uh, the child, Baby Yoda Grogu, uh, he'll hang off the mirror when I get him out of his little cam, but he's an air set. And boy, does he smell good. So Marvin's going to smell good. All right, guys, I got a three and a half hour drive back to the other side of the state. Just going to take it easy and head on back. Uh, we're all going to send each other pictures for the wrap up because it's just too hot and we all ache too much to stand out and put everything out here in this heat and do a wrap up. So we're going to do, we're all going to send each other pictures of the wrap up and I'll narrate it. All righty, see you there. Alrighty, good people. A very tired Rob is in the driveway of Denise's house at uh, a little after 5.30 p.m. Saturday evening. Left here 32 hours ago yesterday morning at about 9.30 a.m. Total 171 miles on the drive home, but yesterday I put 302 miles on the car between driving over there and then back and forth between Coco and Sebastian. So a total of 473 miles and 32 hours. I have four hours of beach hunting in yesterday and four hours of dirt hunting in today. Alrighty folks, we'll be seeing you. Well we got some we got some wrap ups to show you. Alrighty folks here's Kimberly's no cash value token, her 41 Merc, her 53 Rosie, her 57 Rosie, plus she got six Wheaties for the day. Well folks there is four hours on Cocoa Beach. Not a lot to show for it. I may actually be able to use this zipper on my cooler because I need a zipper. 25, 37 cents, guys. Four coins. There might have been another penny, but there's the green pool tab. I got this little thing. Earplugs. I can actually take that cover off. I'm going to use that as a, a little case for uh, some kind of small relic. And then this thing, guys. This is very similar to what the 705 uses to uh, snap the two shafts into place with this little little knob here. I might actually put some get some use out of that. And that's it, guys. That's four hours on Cocoa Beach right there.